Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to make a chicken, a uh, spatchcock chicken. We're going to throw that on the Kamado Joe. But first we're going to sous vide it for a couple hours. And today when I finish it, I'm going to try a new product that actually got delivered to me a couple weeks ago. And I don't know if you've been on YouTube, some of the other cooking channels, you might have seen this already. It's a newer product. It's been out for about maybe six months to a year. It's called duck fat in a can. It's, um, you know, kind of like Pam or other spray cooking oil, but it's actual duck fat. So we're going to try to finish the chicken today. Instead of spraying it with oil before we throw it on the grill, we're going to actually use the duck fat and see how that turns out. But I've already got my chicken cut, so we're going to go ahead. I've already got it all set up all flattened out, got the wings all tucked under, legs spread out. So all I'm really going to do right now is season it up and I'm going to put it in the vacuum bag and then we're going to toss it in. I'm going to go ahead and season this up and today I'm going to just season it with some running wild smoky paprika. Uh, I really like this rub on chicken. Um, matter of fact, this chicken is kind of dry out right now since it's been sitting here for a minute. So I'm going to put a little bit of the duck fat on it before I even season it up and throw it in the bag. Just a really light coat, just to kind of get the rub to stick. But I like this smoky paprika because it, um, it gives a little bit of kick to the chicken. Um, then I also throw a little bit of garlic powder on there. So um, might throw just a little bit of kosher salt on just to finish it up. Salt and paprika really go well with chicken. So if you haven't tried the uh, smoky paprika from Running Wild, there's a link down in the description below to Running Wild's website. There's a discount code you can use, but I highly recommend this for poultry. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice liberal coat all over the front of the chicken. I will do a little bit on the back. I'm not going to video that, but it's more uh, the front of the chicken that we want to get seasoned. We want that skin to get uh, seasoned up really good because when we throw this on the grill later we want it to uh, get nice and crispy. I'm going to get both sides of the wings and to get both sides of the get under the breast there. This is also a good thing to do when you're seasoning a spatchcock chicken. Go ahead and pull the skin back from in between the two breast sides because it will make a little pocket there where the rub won't go and once that skin starts to shrink when it's cooking you'll see that pocket and it'll look kind of ugly so also here by the legs where they kind of clump up just want to kind of pull it pull the skin back just a little bit so that you can get some rub down in there and that's it that's how we're going to do it um, got it all nice and coated I'm going to put just a little bit more put a little bit of this garlic powder on and just a little bit of kosher salt my, and then we're going to bag it up. Bag already and what I did since it's a bigger chicken I went ahead and I used my uh, expandable bag. Um, these are for bigger bigger meats. They got that pleat in here so that you can actually open it up more than just the regular vacuum bags. And the way I'm going to do this I'm going to kind of grab it by its legs and put it wing side first. Just gives me a better angle to push this in there. And then once it gets in, I'm just going to slide it right in. Slide right into the bag, right down to the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it up. All sealed up and ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the sous vide bath and right around three and a half to four hours. So then we're going to throw it on the grill. And I got the chicken out of the sous vide and we got the fire going pretty good and I'm going to pat this dry just a little bit to uh, get off a lot of the moisture because we're going to hit this with some of that 
duck fat to crispen up the skin so I don't want a whole lot of moisture on the skin itself and um, we'll hit it again with some more rub but it's gonna look really good right now but of course once we get that in the cooker it will start to look a little bit better so I'm gonna hit it with some of this duck fat spray not a whole lot just enough to coat skin I guess I'm gonna pull it apart a little bit just gonna get it on all the sides and I'm going to hit it just a little bit more that rub to do it. Now I'm going to go throw this out on the grill. And get All right, it I got a nice smoke up. rolling now. It's getting close to temp, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the chicken on. Oh yeah, fire's going good. I'm just going to throw it on right in the middle so I can get a nice smoke going to it. Get that crispy skin. We'll let it sit there for a good, oh good 20 or 30 minutes before we check on it again so let's set it sit there and we'll be right back it's been on mm, just about 30 minutes and I'm actually gonna hit it with some more of this duck fat take a look at it here it's coming along just nice getting some nice color to it just a little bit more just to try to crisp up that skin and we're gonna leave it on there for another 10 minutes or so we should be good look how that's coming out looking pretty okay see you back in 10 minutes all right all it's done it's got a nice color to it uh, if you can see that well I'll get you a close-up here in a second it smells beautiful that duck fat really made it look pretty good we're going to give it a taste here in a second, but I just want to get a close-up of that color for you. Just kind of see that nice golden brown color. And it's not overcooked. It's nice and juicy. I'm going to give you a close-up here when I cut into it so you can see. It's all the juice running out of it right now. Uh, I've seen lots of chickens before, especially at this time in temp, so I know what they look like. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this leg right off, because I know it'll come right off. See how easy that was to remove? And I'm going to cut a little piece right off the breast right here. Just see how juicy that is, all that juice running out. Take a look at that. I know it's done and it's not dried out. Mm -mm. Now the skin is not super crispy, but it's just crispy enough. It's hard to get skin super crispy, but mm. that duck fat does add another layer of flavor to it. So I would uh, highly suggest it. I mean, it's only like seven or eight bucks in the, on Amazon on the, in the, they sell it on their own website so take a look at it try it out works good on potatoes too i had it on french fries the other day so all right guys i'm gonna go cut this up and feed the family dinner but that looks pretty awesome to me tastes really good i'll see you again on the next video make sure you subscribe hit the like button hit the bell for notifications so when we do some more of these videos you can be notified and i will see you on the next one thanks again